Swayam Prabha. Digital India. Educated India. Now we will discuss the solution with explanation of assignment 5 and 6. We have already explained, we have already given the solution of assignment 1, 2, 3 and 4 and also we explained about the solution of assignment 1, 2, 3 and 4. So, let us solve the assignments 5 and 6. So, in assignment 5, you have, it is given that drag polar C D equal to C D naught which is 0 0.016 and plus C L is C L square K C L square. In this K is 0 0.03 C L square. Weight of the U A V is also given 265 kg. Wing area of the U A V also is given 7.5 meter square and UAV climbing speed is 35, infinity is 35 meter per second and it is also given that small angle assumptions, climb angle less than 5 degree. So, in first question you have to find the load factor, first question you have to find the load factor which is nothing but lift divided by weight. So, at cruise condition load lift will be the weight, so it will be the one only, but what will be the in climb condition. So, when you are climbing then your lift will be balanced by W cos gamma. lift by weight equal to cos gamma, but you know that ki angle is given less than 5 degree. So, your cos gamma is approximated as 1 and sin gamma is approximated as 0. So, cos gamma will be 1, so your answer will be 1. Okay. And in the second equation, you have to find the C L value. So, C L value you are very familiar with this equation 2 W divided by rho V square into S. So, weight is given 265 you have to convert in Newton multiplied by 9.81 mean sea level density is given 2.556. If it is not given then take the mean sea level density V is nothing but 35. and your area is given 7.5. So, your C L will come 0 0.4617. So, this is your lift coefficient. Second question. So, in third question you have to find the value of C D. So, you know the C D sorry, huh, in third question you have to find the C D. So, you know the C L, just put the C L in equation 1 you will get the value of C D. So, in third question C D will be 0 0.016 plus 0 0.03 into C L, just put C L value 0 0.4617 square it, you will get C D equal to 0 0.022396. This will be your C D value. So, in third question, you have to find the value of sorry, this is your second question C D value. So, to get the C D value, you have to find the C L value. So, your C D will be the 0 0.022396, and your third question will be the what will be the thus required. So, you know in 
it is already given climb angle is small so you can approximate as cruise level flight so thrust equal to drag thrust required and lift equal to weight equation 2 and equation 3 if you manipulate equation 2 and 3 you will together you will get thrust required equal to w divided by l by d you can also write w divided by cl by cd right so w you know 265 to convert into newton divided by what is your cl by cd cl you know 0 0.4617 and cd you know 0 0.022396 when you divide CL by CD, you will get approximately 20.615. So, your thrust required will be 126.104 Newton. You, this will be your thrust required. And in fourth question, if the thrust available is given 28. 284.254 thrust available is given 284.254 newton then the climb angle in degrees will be we have already assumed that climb angle is less than 5 degrees so let us check how much it is coming so in in climb if you balance the force so, thrust will be nothing but d plus w sin gamma, right? So, sin gamma will be t minus d divided by w, right? This is nothing but thrust available. Minus thrust required divided by w so thrust available is it is given 284 0.254 minus thrust required you have found out 126.104 divided by 265 into 9.81 sin gamma is this much when you take the inverse both side you will get gamma equal to 3.4877 degree this here will be the climb angle ok here gamma is a climb angle so this will be the answer of answer of fourth question. So, in fifth question you have to find the at which rate the aircraft is climbing means you have to find the climb rate. If you know your velocity vector is in this direction v infinity. So, this is gamma. So, this component will be the v sin gamma or v infinity sin gamma this will be the your climb rate of climb. So, you can denote as a small v equal to v sin gamma. So, v you know already it is given 35 into sin gamma sin 3.4877 divided by ah, no not divided by. So, your answer will come 2.12 meter per second. So, this is your climb rate and this is your fifth. In sixth question, you have to find the fuel fraction and from 1 to 5, the data is given and from 6 to 
from 6 to 10 other data is given. So, you have to use that data in order to get the answer from question 6 to 10. So, let us write the data which is given. So, first this equation is given. Total weight of the aircraft air vehicle is nothing but weight of the avionics can write W avionics W subsystem W propulsion propeller W propulsion system bed W W other W structure W payload W fuel or energy so, no in aircraft payload will be there, fuel will be there, pro propulsion system will be there, structures will be there, your avionics software and all this will come into this, your hydraulics and all will come in this, W others, bags, extra things you can take in this W others. With this information, it, it is also given mass fracture of structures. Ki how much percentage with respect to the total aircraft weight, the structure weight is, is given 0.051. And your power to weight ratio of air vehicle is also given. Which is? 0 0.13245 HP per kg and break a specific fuel consumption is also gain to B I am writing break a specific fuel con fuel SFC specific fuel consumption is 0 0.13 245 two, 245 and mass fraction of propel propulsion system which is 0 0.05 L by D max is also given 12 at cruise condition propulsion efficiency propulsion efficiency is given 0 0.65 and maximum range is also given 6385 kilometer and it is given that all avionics w avionics payload and other having weight equal to 50 kg means W avionics x plus W payload and W others is equal to 50 kg. W service system, W propulsion system, W structures, W fuel. If you divide it by W takeoff, you will get mass fraction of mass fraction of propulsion which is given mass fraction of propulsion which is given. W structures divided by W takeoff mass fraction of the subsystem is given ok and mass fraction of the fuel W fuel divided by W takeoff you have to find. So, see suppose that we know the W 
fuel by W takeoff in this equation, then we can get the takeoff weight. So, everything we know what we want to know that W fuel divide, divided by W takeoff. So, UAV is given ok, R max is given. So, you know that ki if you know the R max equation range is given. So, you know the UAV most of the UAV is propelled power right. So, you can use the range formula in order to get the mass fraction of fuel fraction of this system. So, using this formula R equal to eta P R divided by C, C this is a break specific fuel consumption which is given 0 0.13245 HP kg per HP hour right, this is kg per HP hour ok. So, you can use this formula L by D ln W naught divided by W 1, W naught is a weight when all the fuel will, will get consumed and W 1 is a initial weight, this makes a W 1 and this is W naught. So, W naught is a total weight of the air vehicle and W 1 is a weight when all the fuel get consumed. So, R max is given, so if it this will be the maximum then this also will be the maximum. Okay. So, you just put the value of R max which is given 6385, 6385 meter to kilometer to so you have to convert into meter, propulsive efficiency is given 0 0.65 and C value is given in kg HP hour. So, here you can write C equal to what is given 0 0.13. 0 0.13245 kg per HP hour, HP hour. So, this thing you can convert into SI unit. So, what you will get? 0 0.13245 into 9.81 you have to convert into Newton divided by 1 HP equal to 746 watt and hour if you convert into meter, minute this will come 60 minute into second again the 60 will come. So, if you finally will get this unit as a 1 by meter ok. So, this value will come out. 8.273626 into 10 power minus 7 per meter ok. So, you can put this value 8.273626 into 10 power minus 7. L by D max is given. 12. So, ln w 1 by w 0. So, you have to take at least 5 to 6 digit in, a, in order to get the correct answer. So, what will be your w 1 by w 0? It will come 0 0.5080. Okay. So, this is W naught and this is W 1. Okay. So, first you will get if you rearrange this you will get W naught by W 1 if you reciprocal this you will get 
w 1 by w naught and we know that w 1 is nothing but total weight minus weight of the fuel because already I told you that ki w 1 is a weight when all the fuel get consumed into 0 0.5081. So, if you divide if you take this term separately w f by w naught you will get w f by w naught as 1 minus 0 0.5081 which will come 0 0.4919. So, this is w f by w ma w naught. So, you can say this is a mass fraction of fuel. Okay. So, you can use this formula in order in order to get the mass fraction. So, in first question it is asked to find the value of fuel mass fraction which is coming 0 0.4919. In the second question you have to find the total takeoff weight. So, see this, this one, these things and this, if you combine w avonix w others plus w payload, it is given 50 kg and this in terms of mass fraction ratio, this in terms of mass fraction ratio, this in terms of mass fraction ratio and this in terms of mass fraction ratio, you got. So, this equation, this equation if you manipulate then what you will get? So, you can write w take off this 3 first. So, this will be w avonix first you write this 3 which is given w avonix plus w other plus w payload this you write separately. And next is W subsystem. So, W subsystem you can write W subsystem divided by W takeoff into weight of the takeoff, okay. Plus W propulsion you can write W propulsion divided by W takeoff into W takeoff plus W structures you can write w take off into w take off plus what will be the last w fuel the w fuel divided by w take off into w take off so this this is mass fraction of purple propulsion system this is mass fraction of structures and this is mass fraction of subsystem and this is mass fraction of fuel ok. So, bring this, this, this and this term in this side. So, what you will get? W take off will be the common then 1 minus mass fraction of subsystem again you can put one bracket plus mass fraction of propeller propulsion system not propeller mass fraction of structures plus mass fraction of fuel so you can clear this bracket this and equal to equal to w a 1 x plus w others plus w payload let us make it x 
ओके सो यू कैन राइट डब्ल्यू टेक ऑफ सेपरेटली एस W take off equal to x is nothing but 50 kg. It is given W a one x plus W others plus W payload 50 kg divided by one minus mass fraction of the subsystem, which is given mass fraction of the subsystem is 0.051 plus mass fraction of the propulsion system 0.05 plus mass fraction of the structures 0.051 plus mass fraction of the fuel you got 0.4919 okay let me check 0.05051 0.4919 mass fraction of the structure it is given 0.26 okay so 0.26 0.49 0.051 0.05 okay and this is 50 so your w take off will be 339 Point nine zero four eight kg. This will be the your answer. And uh, in next question, you have to find the weight of the power plant. So one rel one relation is given to you that. mass fraction of propulsion system equal to p by w take off of air vehicle divided by p divided by w power plant so this p p will get cancel w take off you already know mass fraction you already know this is nothing but 0.05 if you put w take off is which is coming 339.9048 you will get the w power plant equal to 16.9952 kg this will be the answer of your 8th question so in 9th question you have to find the peak power of the air vehicle but the engine what is the power maximum power that engine is having so p by air vehicle is also given 0.13 Two four five HP per kg. It is given to you. So multiply by W take off, you will get P equal to forty five point zero two three nine HP. This will be the answer of your that question, which is question number nine. So suppose that with this power, the UAV is flying. then what will be the speed in next question you have to find it so you know power required is nothing but thrust required into velocity and you know thrust required is w take off divided by l by d at cruise condition okay and if you are if your power required and power available is equal means power you are flying with maximum power which is here 45.02 which you have found out so put this p 
पीक पावर फोर्टी फाइव जीरो टू थ्री नाइन दिस मीन यू आर फ्लाइंग एट ए मैक्सिमम पावर यू आर यूजिंग मैक्सिमम पावर फ्रॉम द इंजन सो दिस इज एच पी यू कैन मल्टीप्लाई बाई द वॉट यू विल गेट द आंसर इन वॉट डब्ल्यू टेक ऑफ यू हैव फाउंड ऑलरेडी थ्री थर्टी नाइन पॉइंट नाइन जीरो इंटू नाइन पॉइंट एट वन टू कन्वर्ट इन टू न्यूटन डिवाइडेड बाई एल बाई डी इज गिवेन ट्वेल्व एंड वी इन्फिनिटी यू वॉन्ट सो वी इन्फिनिटी विल कम फ्रॉम हेयर योर वी इन्फिनिटी विल कम वन ट्वेंटी वन पॉइंट नाइन फोर वन वन मीटर पर सेकेंड सो इफ यू आर फ्लाइंग विद दिस पावर कंडीशन your speed will be the 121.9411 meter per second so this is all about the assignments 5 so last we will go the assignment 6 for an electric power fixed wing uav with a standard parameter and mission profile is given so the mission profile is given to you so the mission profile is given to you your l by d is 11 your weight is 215.48 means weight of uav range is 800 km and the speed which is flying the uav which is flying at this speed and hint also is given means you have to consider the Air, uh, UAV is flying at a cruise condition. So in this, first we have calculate the battery power required. So what will be the battery power in kilo kilowatt required to complete this mission? So you know that power required is nothing but thrust required into velocity. Okay. Thrust required in that W divided by L by D into V infinity. W is given two one five point three four eight divided by L by D is also given thirteen. Okay, L by D is given eleven into nine point eight one. Into thirty, so your answer will be five seven six one point five three seven watt. So in kilowatt, your answer will be five point seven six one kilowatt. Okay. So this will be your. power required 5 point okay so in second question you have to find the endurance so that you can easily find easily find endurance is nothing but range divided by velocity so range is given 800 km you have to convert into meter divided by speed is given speed is given 30 and uh, this is in the it will come in a second so if you multiply divide by 360 you will get the endurance in hour so that will be the 7.40 7 hour okay this will be the your endurance and in third question you have to find the total energy in kilowatt supplied by the battery so in kilowatt hour so total energy will be
what you got the power required is multiply by the endurance. So, power required is 5.761 kilowatt into endurance is 7.407. So, your answer will be 42. 42.674 kilowatt hour. So, that will be your total energy. So, how much the battery will, will have? If you are, if the total energy, energy is this, your, you want endurance 7.407 and you want range is 800 kilometer, then how much battery weight will be required? So, battery weight depends upon the which battery are you, which, which battery you are choosing, means a specific density is required in, or, in order to get the battery weight. So, a specific battery, a specific energy of the battery is given. So, total battery weight is, will be total battery weight equal to total energy, total energy which is you got 42.674 kilowatt hour, you can convert into watt hour, okay. This is unit is watt hour per only watt hour divided by this is total energy and a specific energy is given 200 watt hour per kg. This watt hour will cancel. If you solve this, you will get 213.33 kg. This is the total weight of the battery. So, in the fifth question, what is the necessary condition of the stable UAV? So, sir already explained you about the longitudinal stability, significance of CM naught, CM alpha. So, as you know that from this diagram you can say, if you your is angle of attack is in x axis and pitching moment coefficient is y axis. So, this is your CM versus alpha graph for the stable UAV. In this condition, CM alpha is less than 0. So, this is a necessary condition. In this case, CM alpha is also less than 0, but CM naught at alpha equal to 0, CM is 0. In this condition also, your aircraft is stable, but you cannot trim the aircraft as positive angle over time. Okay. So, so for answer this question, your CM alpha will be less than 0. Okay. This is the necessary condition of the stable UAV, but in, our, in order to trim the UAV or aircraft at positive angle of attack, your CM naught should be greater than 0. Okay. And uh, in seventh question, you have to find that okay, which condition holds the trim, the stable UAV at zero angle of attack. So, to put to this condition will satisfy CM alpha less than zero and CM not equal to zero. If you have these two, you can trim the UAV at zero angle of attack also. And in eighth question, some air file is given like air file OFA and last one is the air file S1223. So, the comparison is given and x axis the angle of attack is given and y axis lift coefficient is given. And the question is which air file will give the lowest stall speed. So, see if you write this C L equal to 
टू डब्ल्यू फ्रॉम लिफ्ट इक्वल टू वेट रो वी स्क्वायर इफ योर सी एल इंक्रीजेस कीपिंग आर द पैरामीटर कॉन्स्टेंट दिस एस विल ऑल्सो कम इफ यूर सी एल इंक्रीजेस देन वी विल डिक्रीज सो जस्ट पिक द एयर फॉयल विच हैज हाइयर सी एल मैक्स सो इन दिस कंडीशन एयर फॉयल एस वन टू टू थ्री विल हैव द हाइयर सी एल मैक्स सो फॉर दैट पर्टिकुलर एयर फॉयल द स्टाल स्पीड विल बी द लोअर कंपेयर टू ऑल ओके एंड इन नाइन्थ क्वेश्चन ए विंग इज मेड ऑफ सिमेट्रिकल एयर फॉयल द पिचिंग मोमेंट कॉफियन एट जीरो डिग्री एंगल ऑफ अटैक विल बी सो यू नो फॉर द सिमेट्रिकल एयर फॉयल एट जीरो एंगल ऑफ अटैक द प्रेशर डिस्ट्रीब्यूशन ऑन द अपर सर्फेस एंड प्रेशर डिस्ट्रीब्यूशन ऑन द लोअर सर्फेसिस विल बी द सेम सो देयर विल बी द नो लिफ्ट एट जीरो एंगल ऑफ अटैक एंड ऑल्सो सपोज दिस इज अमेट्रिकल एयर फॉयल योर नेट अपर प्रेशर लोअर प्रेशर एक्टिंग लेट से पी एल एंड नेट अपर प्रेशर एक्टिंग पी अपर सो दिस विल एक्ट एट द सेम पॉइंट सो देर विल बी द नो लिफ्ट एंड नो मोमेंट सो इन दिस केस सी एम इक्वल टू जीरो ओके एंड फॉर द टेंथ क्वेश्चन फॉर पॉजिटिवली कैम्बर एयरफॉल प्रोड्यूसर्स इन ब्रेकेट ऑल्सो गिवेन दैट द लीडिंग एज अ मोमेंट इज पॉजिटिव सो यू नो दैट फॉर द कैम्बर्ड एयरफॉल द सी एम ए सी इज निगेटिव सो ऑब्वियसली इट विल प्रोड्यूस द नोज डाउन मोमेंट सो नोज डाउन मोमेंट इज निगेटिव सो इट विल प्रोड्यूस द निगेटिव पोचिंग मोमेंट अबाउट द एरोडाइनमिक सेंटर सो दिस इज ऑल अबाउट द असाइनमेंट्स प्रॉब्लम we have already solved the problem 10 problems so all the best for your exam thank you very much